24, Jewel Lloyd. Starting at the other forward position, number 10, Sue Bird. Starting at center, number 30, Brianna Stewart. Shooting guard, number three. The other guard, number seven. The head coach of your home team. Seattle Storm! Hey folks, welcome into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Washington Mystics as they go up against the Seattle Storm. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitini, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. And tonight, it's all about the three-point shot. Each of these teams can catch fire from beyond the arc. Are we seeing this type of game more often, Brian? Yeah, Blake. It feels like games have turned into three-point shooting contests. And these two teams are set up very well for that. Yeah, kudos to their front offices, how they built these teams. Everybody wants shooters. And both of these teams, they got some great ones. Now, here's Clark. Charles off target at the rim. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Off target from three point range. Surprising miss, wouldn't you say? I mean, she usually devours those wide open opportunities. Here's Heinz Allen. It's rebounded by Seattle. Three misses to start this one. And they're still looking for their first basket. Here's Stewart. Rebound, Tina Charles. Here's the Mystics with the ball. Pass to Heinz Allen. Clark. Up top, Della Don. And a call Seattle will be against foul. Bird. Sue that Bird. is her first foul first of the game. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Washington has possession. Pass to Atkins. Just five to shoot. Uses the glass to go. finish Atkins. the layup. Wide open look. And props to Heinz Allen for locating the open teammate using her GPS. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Now here is Lloyd. The 2015 Rookie of the Year, Lloyd is a natural-born scorer. She did it from the jump here in the WNBA. She just desires buckets. Now here is Atkins. Laid in with a there nice touch Atkins. off the glass. With the steadfast and fiery offensive identity, Atkins is able to put her head down and attack. I just love how Ariel Atkins hustles on the defensive end of the floor. She's always pestering the ball handlers, and with her fast hands, she's always a threat to knock the ball away. Now here's Della Don, and the shot goes Elena, in. Della Filthy Don. handles with EGD, perhaps the best player in the world. The storm trail. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. And that one's good. Stewart. And you know, Atkins' defensive efforts have certainly been well rewarded and recognized within the league. Multiple all-defensive team selections, and she has a habit of being here. The top of the league in steals. 
Ariel Atkins gives you really everything she has on the defensive end. Down to five on the shot clock. Heinz Allen. Allen. Good. Well, you're talking about a player in Heinz Allen who barely took any threes in college. But this is a part of her game she has added since becoming a professional. Defended by Atkins. Outside Stewart. Hits the three-point bomb. Don't expect an MVP like Stewart to let the last three go unanswered. Strikes back by flexing her own range. Now here's Della Don. It's Ariel Atkins with the drive. And oh, yep, yeah. it's good. Was not phased at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little phased. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone. But hey, she uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? Here's Stewart. Rebounded by the Mystics. Pass to Heinz Allen. Atkins. Della Don covered by Lloyd. To the middle. Charles. The shot's good on the assist, assist by Elena Della Don. Elena They've been Della hot Don. here early, dropping them in left and right. Uh, we'll see how long they can keep it going. Left side, Stewart. <laughs> Got it. Good, good job in the low post. A true threat inside and outside. Stewart's height and touch, they allow her to be effective down low. Outside Charles. Pass to Heinz Allen. Now Atkins. From outside, off the mark. Bird outside. Now here is Stewart. That's in, and her fourth basket of the night. She's taken seven shots. That's a solid 57%. And here's Heinz Allen. It's Ariel Atkins with the drive. Clark outside. Out to the wing. Beyond the arc. Hines Allen can't get it to go. And here's the storm now. Trailing by two. Stolen by Clark. Here's Atkins. She's got six. Pass to Hines Allen. Clark outside. Shot clock at six. Out to the left wing. Tina Charles for three. Stewart grabs the miss. Over to the wing. From 18 feet away. That shot missing. So the Mystics will take it the other way. Clark outside. Pass to Heinz Allen. Back to Clark. Della Don. Now here's Atkins. And she can't stop this drought. Another miss. Here's Bird. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. The Mystics leading. Pass to Atkins. Della Don. From downtown. And she's good on the three ball. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped timeout them take this lead. Now a timeout called by Seattle. We're in the final stretch of the season. Teams looking to jockey for position. So how do you avoid a season class? It's easier said than done, but you have to keep focus. I think lots of times the late season lows have to do with losing your edge, and that's where your, your, your leaders come in. And that's where your veterans come in. They can get the attention of the locker room, and they can help right the ship once things go off course.
big news on the station here for Washington. Now Prince. Pass to Canada. To the inside. And she was fouled on the way up. She Elena Dillon Don. First person. That's on Elena Dillon Don. After First winning a WNBA foul. championship in her rookie season, Shooting I'd say Russell has her sights on winning Mercedes even more Russell. titles in the future. At the line and this is her first free throw of the game. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. That's also good, so she hits them both. Mitchell with it. Pass to Gustafson. And here's Walker Kimbrough. And here's Gustafson. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the strike for two. First personal foul. Teams this is her first trip to the free throw foul. line tonight. Shooting for the Mystics. Megan Gustafson, two shots. First free throw is good. She makes both free throws. Here's Canada. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. To the paint. A nice shot by McElroy. Four of their last five minutes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to play Zons. Five on the clock. And stolen by Canada. Yep, that's that goes. Jordan, you cannot let Canada get this type of positioning. That is just asking for trouble. Here's Gustafson. Back to Mitchell. Inside. Gustafson gets Megan the bucket. Gustafson. Opportunistic pass by Leilani Mitchell, making the most of a wide open teammate. Outside Canada. Pass to Magvigor. Rebounded by the Mystics. Here's Weiss. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game. Yeah, for her. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Russell. First personal foul. That's her first, first foul. Third team foul. Into the lineup for Seattle. Stephanie Talbot. So it's Washington now. It's a three-point game. Down low. And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make a three. Personal foul. Don't be fooled by the height of Mitchell. I mean, just at 6'5", she can still take a hit and finish the play. One area of the floor where Leilani Mitchell really shines is the perimeter. She's got a ton of confidence in her long-range shot and can really rack up points from beyond the arc.
now here is Canada. To the paint, Russell. And a great assist by Jordan Canada. And that one falls in. Well, it's tough trying to match up with Russell, guys, especially when she's established inside and looking to score. Now Mitchell. To the inside. Here's Canada. And that does it for the first quarter. The Mystics on top, up by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And now, the second quarter just getting set to begin. And for the Mystics, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, we've seen them really get out and establish an offensive rhythm. And they're finding ways to score, you know, playing well and getting good offense. Seattle trailing here. That's in. She's got two made now. And she's shooting two for three. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. And it's blocked! At six foot six, Russell is a capable shot blocker. She knows how to make a statement on defense. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Mitchell outside. Clock at six. Now Gustafson. That Megan one's Gustafson. in. Coming off an assist Assisting. from Leilani Mitchell. Leilani Mitchell. Great unspoken communication between teammates. Leading to the nice assist and easy two. Outside Canada. Pass to Talbot. Canada. Lots of contact there. Shot and first personal foul, line. teams first. And when it comes first to Jordan team Canada, foul. her unselfishness That's really fun. stands so out. Fun. Her teammates Jordan appreciate Canada. her willingness to share the rock. And she takes this responsibility very seriously. Shooting two. First one falls for her. Canada is the type of guard every coach would love to have. She's all about running the offense and making teammates better. Yeah, and that goes a long way. In turn, it helps the team perform better, be more efficient, and that is why they really value Canada's leadership on the floor and in the locker room. Both good at the line. And Jordan Canada is known for her defensive prowess, uh, all defensive member, but on the other side also her passing and playmaking ability. She's a special talent with a winning mentality. Foul. Second personal foul. First team foul. She's gone two for two at the line so far. Shooting for Washington. Megan Gustafson at the line for two. Free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. To the middle. 
well-timed pass, and it goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Get open, Canada will find you. One of the best pure passers in the league. And here's Weiss. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Burke. And it's all evened up. I like the move she made to come free. Give herself a, a clear lane to the hoop. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. Inbound pass, and Clark Alicia lays it up Clark. and in. Transitioning into pretty much whatever role the team needs, it's Clark's ability to adapt that really impresses me. Now here is Lloyd. Count that bucket. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Here's Clark. to Heinz Allen. Six on the shot clock. The call. From deep, Ariel Atkins. Ariel. And the Mystics hit again from deep. A player that truly loves to learn. I think it's cool how Atkins is always asking questions because she is all about competing and improving. Now Bird. Don't give her space! Don't give her space! Talbot. Inside. Knocked away. Rejected by Alicia Clark. If Clark continues to develop her defensive instincts, blocking shots will become second nature to her. Here's Heinz Allen. And too long on the shot. Seattle trailing here. Rejected by Tina Charles. An intimidating shot blocking presence. Charles is able to read the opponent and react accordingly. Here's McCall. Unable to get that one to go. Now Seattle takes it the other way. To the inside. And the basket by Lucas. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah. Nobody likes a traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high-quality looks inside. Now here's Atkins. Pass to Clark. Shoots over Bird. Here's Charles. And a good offensive board, and she gets the bucket. Easily Time one of the gone. most tenacious rebounders in the league. Charles is very familiar with second chance points. Time called here. The Storm decides to talk it over. Well, the former MVP, Tia Charles, still a force whenever she's on the floor. One of the best double double threats in the history of the league.
And with Charles, the 2012 MVP, as you mentioned, she can really control a game on the glass. And she's one of the most reliable bigs in the league. She shows up every game, is rarely injured, and always gives great production. The numbers she's put up over her career are incredible. Now Heinz Allen. Pass to Charles. Some solid defense from Brianna Stewart. Seattle with the ball. And again, Seattle with the triple. She presents a defender with a serious challenge. Uh, pretty much always. Outside Atkins. And here's Hines Allen. Mark outside. And Tina Charles is going to pick up the foul. Tina Charles. That is her first foul of the game. Terrific defensive play. Cut her off. Squared up. Nice play. Yeah, and that's showing some toughness on defense. Getting physical, sticking her nose in there, and making a play. Now here is Lloyd. She has six. And she gets it to go. That's just an agile play from Lloyd in the paint. Navigating the traffic and finding her shot. Outside Atkins. Pass to Hines Allen. Noah Don. Five to shoot. Here's Charles. There's her third field goal, and she's now made half of her six shots. You know, not a great start for her in the first, but she's quickly turning that around. Defended by Atkins. My arcing shot. Elena Deladon with the block. With the strong defensive presence, Deladon is constantly able to make plays on the defensive end of the ball. Here's Heinz Allen. Pass to Deladon. Knocks it loose. Jewel Lloyd with the steal. To the paint. Soft touch on the glass. Unselfish play from Jewel Lloyd right there. She's all about getting the ball to uncovered teammates. Outside Atkins. Takes the 13-footer. Off the left rim and out. Seattle in the lead. To the middle. Lloyd. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Outside Atkins. Poked away. Defended by Atkins. Pass to Lloyd. Atkins grabs the board. Two the the defenders are afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket, but not that time. Jewel Lloyd with the steal. Out to the right wing. Drops in the tray. Her assist rate has gotten better with each season in the WNBA. Lloyd's vision and passing continues to blossom. Washington calls timeout. Well, when you look at the Seattle Storm's dominance over the last few years, it just would not be possible without the stellar play of the Lloyd. The craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Like Spirit fans.
There's Mitchell. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Pass to Prince. Here's Talbot. Six to shoot. Canada with it. Tries again. Rebounded by Walker Kimbrough. Mitchell outside. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. And here's Plaisons. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Mitchell. The Mystics again can't hit. Down low. Magbogor, no good. And Washington has possession. They trail by 11. And shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Walker Kimbrough misses. Here's Prince. Magbogor. Deladon covering. Outside Canada. Pass to Prince. Connects from three-point range. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And so we wrap up the first half. It's the Storm. They lead by 14. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. of it in the first half. She got to the rim again and again and kept on scoring. Look, we know that she's got that great first step, but she must have woken up on the right side of the bed today because she looks fast out there. Getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. Pass to Stewart. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. Now Heinz Allen. Banked in off the Maisha glass. Heinz Allen. What focus, what body control. Heinz Allen with an impressive hoop. Now here is Lloyd. Pass to Stewart. That one is off. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Here's Clark. Here's the three. And the Mystics Alicia hit Clark. again from deep. Yeah, a consistent outside shot is something that Clark really works at and takes pride in. Left side, Stewart. That one, good for two. One aspect of the play today that's been far superior is the pass. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offense is having. And that's just what they've shown tonight. Alicia Clark drives in. Storm. And Alicia uh, Clark, the veteran forward, is time to do a foot of the screen. But uh, it's so great to see her back out there on the floor. 
First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Alicia Clark taking two shots. First one falls. 17th pick in the 2010 WNBA draft. Clark has carved out a nice career for herself. I like her game. And good on the second, so she makes both. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. To the middle. Shoots. And it's Seattle. This is boring again. And for Clark, a two-time champion, you got to love the experience she brings to the table. Yeah, she's a great presence to have on the floor. And she's one of the better two-way wings in the game. She doesn't have any true weaknesses. She makes any team better. Here's Deladon. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. This is why Deladon is an all-time player. Her desire, her will, it's about winning for her. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. High school recruit in the nation, the second overall pick of the WNBA draft, Elena Deladon. She's lived up to the lofty expectations that have followed her her entire career. Now here's Bird. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to Lloyd. Shot clock at five. Ooh, no luck on that one. And Washington will go the other way with it. Deladon outside. Now here is Atkins. And here is Charles. Pass to Heinz Allen. No good on the three. Seattle leading. Outside Lloyd. Well, the Jewel Lloyd story is incredible, guys. From getting drafted number one overall to winning Rookie of the Year and then winning multiple championships. Here's Heinz Allen. Five points in the game. Charles up top. Atkins. Basket by Deladon. Well, Deladon loves to outwork opponents on the glass. She rebounds with energy and effort. Left side, Stewart. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. No good on the triple. The Mystics trailing. Pass to Heinz Allen. Charles. Deladon with it. And she's going for the oop here. And they double up Tina Charles. To the inside. From 12 feet out. 
It's rebounded by Seattle. To the left side wing. Drains it from beyond the arc. She might not be the top sharpshooter in this league, but that's not a shot that Z can afford to give to her. Some tough Time offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. That was a good time to call a timeout to try and settle everybody down and get back into the offensive rhythm. Simply coughing up the rock an awful lot. The coach can't be happy about it. to Heinz Allen. Back to Charles. Six on the shot clock. Over Stewart. And that one hits back iron. They were ready for her there. I mean, just totally collapsed the D on her. And down it goes. Two points. Good pass work. The assist was right on target. Outside Atkins. Clark. This one for three. Here's Charles. That one goes in. Yeah, Charles. Inside, Charles really takes charge, gets physical, and doesn't let anything keep her from scoring. And here is Stewart, guarded by Charles. Stewart can't hit. Atkins with it. He's got 12. Charles defended by Stewart. And here's Heinz Allen. Back to Charles. Pass to Deladon. Fires for three. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice then. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The team got lucky. Here's Samuelson. Sweet little floater. Awesome touch shown by Katie Lou. And that floater from the 6-3 release point, no one is blocking that. Outside Atkins. Back to Deladon. Heinz Allen. He has five. From deep, Ariel Atkins. And Samuelson pulls it down. The three rejected by Ariel Atkins. Pass to Charles. Here's Heinz Allen. Now here is Atkins. Alicia Clark on the wing. Tipped away. And they force a shot clock violation. Great defense. The ball goes to Seattle. Mystics making a switch here. Now Canada. She's got six. Stewart. She's off on that one. Great D that time from Tina Charles. 
it's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Washington foul. Teresa plays on us. First personal foul. So it's both teams First making team substitutions here. Substitution for Washington. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. And here's Prince. Outside Canada. Pass to Talbot. Just five on the clock. It's over Della John. Can't hit that one. Two minutes and minutes it's the, the Mystics taking it the other way. Back to Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Magnador grabs the miss. And they've built a very nice lead. No signs of uh, slowing down, at least as far as I can tell. Here's Talbot. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to McCall. Now Deladon. Now Walker Kimbrough. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Here's Talbot to the right side. Here's Canada. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Wow, Canada might be one of the smaller players in this league by height. Not small in any way, effort-wise. Great second dance basket. Now here's Mitchell. Shot to end the cold run. Hits the back Mitchell. iron and sinks the shot. Seattle with the ball. Outside Canada to the paint. A nice shot by McIlroy. Combine the quick and decision making of Canada. You'll get the perfect player to run the pick and roll. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Walker Kimbrough, guarded by Canada. Pass to McCall. Back to Deladon. Here's Walker Kimbrough. It's rebounded by Seattle. Here's Talbot. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Storm out in front, up by 16. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Well, she's always the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are her bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When she's running the show, she makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. Welcome back. Fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. Deladon outside. Goes back up. No good on that shot. Excellent D there for Mercedes Russell. Lays it up and banks it in. They're just killing them in the paint. You can say that again. I mean, the defenders aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low. They're just killing them in the paint. Thank you. Deladon outside. Pass to Heinz Allen. Gustafson. Heinz Allen, guarded by Canada. And another miss by Washington. Fourth quarter of basketball, we're about one minute into it. Deladon with it. Out 
Jasper Gustafsson. Back to Deladon. Inside. Tipped. Stolen by Russell. Oh, and the fast break for the storm. Right side, Canada. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Back to Bird. Stolen by Della Don. Pass to Heinz Allen. And another miss by Washington. And they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. Excellent defense there from Elena Della Don. So it's Washington now. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. And here's Heinz Allen. Pass to Gustafsson. Just five to shoot. Here's Della Don. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses Washington when she foul. gets that much. Erica hurt. McCall. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Shooting for Seattle. Izzy Magbador taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both shots good from the strike. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Time they really want to Washington. find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. Really, they're not team at all with the look they've given up inside. They want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior and that's a recipe for disaster. It's a pass now here in the fourth. And here they come. Three-pointer. Rebound, Tina Charles. Deladon outside. Pass to Atkins. To win the drought. Here's Charles. Count it. Number Tina five from Charles. the floor this game, and she's hoisted up 11 so far. They've gotten some second chances here in the second half, and that extra effort will help cut into this deficit. Washington and a foul, foul called on Atkins. Ariel Atkins. That is the first, first foul, foul, foul of the game. Teams first. Second team foul. Into the lineup for Seattle, Brianna Stewart. To the paint, Lloyd. Yes, and a Jewel nice assist for the bucket. Bird. Well, remember, for her career, Lloyd's at about 15 per game, so scoring buckets in bunches, it's old habit. Pass to Deladon. And here's Atkins. Shot clock at five. Over Stewart. 
And it comes off the front of the rim. Fades. Doesn't get it to drop for her. So the Mystics will take it the other way. Deladon right side. Pass to Heinz Allen. Here's Atkins. Jacks up a three. Charles. Great positioning on the pushback. Given Charles's impressive all-around game, she's certainly one of the league's toughest defensive assignments. Stewart, guarded by Charles. Stewart with the bucket. That's a clean look they gave her there, fellas. And, I mean, she, she drains those. So, I wouldn't give her too many of those looks if I was the defense. Here's Heinz Allen. Elena Deladon on the wing. The tray. Second chance shot. Heinz Allen. Here's Charles. Well, it was only a matter of time. They finally get the bucket. Well, when you can't box out, bad things are bound to happen. If you give any team more than one chance in the offensive end, you are just begging for trouble. Now here's Stewart. Good on the shot. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Here's Clark. Second shot opportunity. Bird pulls it in. He hasn't had much success shooting the ball. Outside Lloyd. Back to Bird. She's covered by Clark. Here's Stewart. Rebound, Tina Charles. The Mystics on offense. Now Heinz Allen. Outside Charles. Now here's Atkins. She's guarded closely. Her stroke looked a little shaky this quarter. Not much is hitting the target. Back to Lloyd. <laughs> Off the mark there with the three. She's still looking for her first three-pointer of the second half after hitting just one three-pointer in the first half. Here's Deladon. Pass to Charles. Four on three on the break. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Another good pass. Impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off the Mystics. And the Mystics call time here. The nice thing about Brianna Stewart is I don't have to tell you how good she is. One look at her impressive trophy case is all it takes to see that she's one of the league's most elite players. Allen. It's Tina Charles, high post. 
Clark outside. Shot clock at six. Looking to end the drought. And it's blocked by Brianna Stewart. The incredible wingspan of Stewart coming in handy. She can cover a lot of ground. Third outside. Rebounded by the Mystics. Outside Atkins. Pass to Heinz Allen. Outside Charles. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. The shot comes out. And the storm going the other way now. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Tina that the line Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Storm. Two shots. And she knocks down the first one. And good on both. And here's Heinz Allen. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. Pass to Deladon. Clark with it. Down to five on the shot clock. They need this. The shot, no good. Mystic tough foul. ball there, and it's Maisha tough break for me. But I don't First have a problem with the call, Tim. She looked like she was still foul. sliding in there. Shooting for Seattle. At the line for two. Two. And the first one drops. And that's good as she hits both shots. Now here is Charles. Outside Atkins. Pass to Heinz Allen. Charles. Clark, right side. And here's Heinz Allen. And another miss by Washington. Outside Lloyd. Up top, Bird. Shoots over Della Dawn. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. It's the forgotten part of the floor, the in between area. But Bird still knocks them down from here, catches opponents off guard. Outside Atkins. Pass to Heinz Allen. Della Dawn. Shoots a fader. He can't get that one. Out of bounds. Ball and Mystics over. ball. Mystics ball. Alicia Clark on the wing. And so Seattle 
takes this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. We saw the excellent defense, a potent offensive effort, and they were pretty much dominant. And that's a wrap, everyone.